Many experts believe that water levels in the ocean are rising as ice melts due to higher temperatures caused by climate change. Right now, over 5 million cubic miles of ice exists on the surface of our planet, which one estimate says would take longer than 5,000 years to melt if global warming rates continue. An interactive map created by National Geographic shows what the world would look like if all the ice on Earth melted and added to the sea levels. Estimates show that this would raise the oceans by 216 feet, flooding coastal cities and creating shorelines that are deeper inland. coast of North America, including all of Florida, would be underwater, along with the west coast cities of Los Angeles and San Diego, California. Parts of Europe would be devastated by the Atlantic Ocean, covering London, the Netherlands, and most of Denmark. Although major cities in Egypt like Cairo and Alexandria would become part of the Mediterranean Sea, the continent of Africa would be the least affected by rising sea levels. We've been highlighting the risks to major cities from sea level rise. A handful of islands in the western Pacific have disappeared and researchers say rising sea levels are to blame. California could be in major trouble because of climate change. In some cases, landlocked regions could eventually have beaches. An updated government report says in one severe scenario, sea levels could rise by 10 feet over the next century. That could mean tens of thousands of homes and businesses lost, as well as power plants, water treatment facilities, and hundreds of miles of roadways in the coastal state. The culprit in the study, it says loosely regulated greenhouse gas emissions. Let's take a look at New York City. Here's the sea level rise of one, three, five, and eight feet, and how that could impact the city. We're talking about the airports underwater uh, inundating those airports. Hurricane Sandy, of course, in 2012 was a turning point, and the storm highlighted New York City's vulnerabilities to coastal storms and rising seas. Thousands of buildings were damaged, individual property values across the five boroughs dipped nearly $20,000 after Sandy.
Asia, the country of Bangladesh with a population of 160 million would be entirely wiped out. And in Australia, the thin coastal band around the continent where four out of five Aussies live would be underwater. Fossil fuels are causing ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica to melt at increasingly faster rates. The report says when ice melts in Antarctica, sea levels near California could rise more than the rest of the world. Sea levels have been rising for thousands of years, but starting in 2050, that rate could be 30 to 40 times faster than what we've seen over the past century. right now would actually be, we would be probably closer to waist, between our waist and our shoulders in terms of where water would be. He's talking about the potential impact of sea level rise to Christopher Columbus Park and the North End, one of five waterfront neighborhoods under the threat of coastal flooding, major storms, and extreme heat. A number of 90 degree days over the last several years. You can see, of course, last year we really peaked out. We knew it was going to be a big year. Six months ago, Blackman's office, in partnership with the Green Ribbon Commission, released a 400 page report. Climate Ready Boston details the consequences of the changing climate and what they found could be catastrophic, reminiscent of the destruction left behind by Superstorm Sandy in New York and New Jersey. Rising seas are some of the most visible signs of our warming planet. Over the last 20 years, NASA's satellites, airborne missions, and field campaigns have shown a steady rise in global sea levels as the world's polar ice sheets melt. Here to tell us more about this is Dr. Tom Wagner from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, start by telling us, you know, you have some new images. What do these new images show us uh, about sea level rise? You know, they show us two really important things. You know, and the first thing is this. Sea levels are rising around the world, and in the last 20 years they've risen by over three inches on average and we know this number really well it's actually recorded by a number of different satellites that go over the earth and bounce radar signals off the ocean to ter determine its height the other amazing thing though is that the ocean has topography you know you can almost think of it like a mountain range with peaks and valleys and the coast of california in this case actually is a little bit of a valley right now and this is caused by a combination of wind and ocean currents but what people really need to take away is that sea level's rising and it's going to continue to rise. And it's rising enough that it's already impacting us. You what, mate? 